Hey guys, it is Sunday. It means it is a meal prep uh, Sunday. And I'm gonna be doing a lot of cooking today. Right now I'm kinda just chilling. I just woke up an hour and a half ago. So I'm still waking up. I've had breakfast. Uh, I'm just gonna let my phone charge for a little bit. And um, probably in like two hours, I'm gonna get started on cooking. And I'm making three meals today. Uh, I'm making five servings of three different meals. We'll go over it when I get there. But yeah, I'm really excited. Really looking forward to it. Um, I love cooking. So yeah, see you guys then. Hey guys, so it's time. It's 11 o'clock right now. So we're gonna get cooking. We're gonna be done probably around like four, honestly. I'll just, you know, get started really quick. Um, I'll get the ingredients out in one second, um, but I just want to give you the like, kind of rundown of how I do this. So, this is one of the old meals that I cooked. So what I do is I write down everything, like the exact measurements of what I used, uh, because like they differ from time to time. Sometimes you get a little bit more veggies. Um, and what you can do in my fitness pal is you can go in and put it as a meal um, rather than a recipe. And um, say how many servings it is and it'll like it'll split it up you don't have to like even it out yourself it does all the match for you so i i like to just write down all the measurements of everything we're gonna do breakfast first which is my um will tennyson's egg scramble and it's super good um super tasty i was, I was gonna say super fast but it's actually not the veggies take a while to cook um, but yeah, we're gonna get started. I'm gonna go get all of the ingredients. We'll start that first and then we'll get started. Okay, so here's the rundown of how this is gonna work. It is two servings of this or um, 92 grams of egg whites per serving. So this makes, I'm making five servings right now. I eat this every day for breakfast. Um, so 10 servings of egg whites. Um, I got this bag of chopped cauliflower. Um, it says it's four servings. I just throw the whole bag in there. Um, I love cauliflower. Super good for you too. Um, finish up the proteins, I guess. So uh, this is 97%, uh, not 97.3, I can only assume is the 97% fat free ground turkey it is 26 grams of protein uh five servings in here so that'll add 26 grams of protein per serving um then one egg per serving as well so we're gonna throw five eggs in there um what else so i have two things of butternut squash um just weigh it out throw it all in there um, there's, oh, these are some really good carbs in there. Uh, let's see. I have, oh, I have a bunch of Brussels sprouts. I love Brussels sprouts. They're actually super good once you like cut them up and, and cook them down. I don't like, I don't like full Brussels sprouts, uh, but I just dice them up. Uh, and then once they cook down, they are fantastic. And then peas. Everyone loves peas. So I uh, throw basically two bags in there. Um, so that's basically this first meal. Like this is gonna make five meals. Um, it's about 450 calories, I think, by the end of it. My recommendations for this meal is if you make it like one serving, which is what I used to do. Um, if I can find the video, um, Will Tennyson made this in one of his videos. I'll try to link that below. Um, he's better at it than I am. But if you're making it in one serving, you can make it in a single pan. But I've found that because of the abundance of the veggies, even a huge pan like this is still, um, it's hard to cook so much in just this pan. So today I'm gonna try to cook the veggies in one and the meat in a separate one and then just mix it at the end. Um, just to make sure everything's cooked. Uh, what else? The biggest concern with cooking your turkey is let it brown first. So just let the pan get hot, slap it down in there and in, in, in a tiny bit of oil right and let it sear let it brown on one side i think it was josh cortis on youtube that said this um I, th I think you let it brown because what people do is they mix it around it releases too much of the fat and then you get like almost steamed turkey and that's why people's turkey turns out like gray 
Turkey should not be gray. That's when it's been steamed instead of, it's been steamed instead of actually cooked. So let it brown on one side and then flip it, let it brown and just let it actually cook before you start adding other things that are gonna get in the way of that metal on, that metal on meat connection. Um, so I like to brown the turkey. Then once that's cooked, uh, you throw in the egg whites in the egg and then stir it up. And then, I mean, the vegetables are pretty straightforward. They cook pretty fast. Um, you're basically just steaming them. Yeah, that's about it. I'm gonna get started and yeah. Another, um, well, one of the cool things about living in the middle of nowhere is, so I have old cucumbers. Instead of throwing these away, I like to recycle them into the uh, wilderness. So as you can see, uh, that is an, that's an onion. That's like a bunch of bread for the birds to eat. Um, but yeah, I just like to like throw these things. Watch. Hold on. We'll do this one at a time. <laughs> it's more fun when I don't have a camera to hold. But it's cool, you can just... I mean, something, I'll eat them. I mean, they're outside, it's better than... I think, at least, I think it's better than throwing them in the garbage. But it's fun. If I get, like, an, like, like an old, like, head of lettuce that I just didn't have time to use or forgot to use, um, it's better than, like... It's better than throwing it in the garbage. Something will maybe eat it out there, right? Or it'll, like, decompose. It's just fun. Um, I was gonna add... I'm gonna put garlic in the pan as well rather than use garlic powder. Um, just add a little bit more garlic taste. Do what you want. I forgot to mention that earlier though. That, that's it. So to weigh out everything properly, what I like to do is just throw everything in. Uh, you just throw everything in one. Um, You throw all the veggies in one bowl and then you write down how much they weigh. So this will be, so I'm adding 500 grams of frozen peas. So then I write that down, 500 grams peas. And then you can total it all up at the end and kind of figure out how much uh, veggies you put in. And then it'll split up the macros into the meals that you make. So then for this, I take the bowl, which has the cauliflower and the butternut squash in it. And I take my extremely sharp knife that I actually cut my finger with uh, last weekend. And I just cut it down the middle. I have the turkey browning right now. This is like, this is all the, ve this is veggies. Like that's the volume eating of this. Okay, I have my Brussels sprouts all diced up. I have the turkey, see how the turkey's brown? Uh, because you know, I'll let it brown before I, before I, oh, look at that. Pete trying to escape, get back in there. So we got everything cooking so far. Yeah, everything cooking. I'm gonna add some water to this. We just add a little bit of water. Just to help them steam a little bit. Because these, like, all we all we want to do is soften these. These act these are ones that are actually have to be cooked. Um let's grab this guy. So yeah, we're just gonna let this cook for a little bit and then stir it. And I will come back when we're a little closer to being done. Word of advice that I have, um, because I've made this three times, is you don't want any, you don't want any liquid here when you're done. You want to make sure that that liquid gets out. Cause it, look at that, like that liquid over there. If that gets in your meal prep container, that is going to make it so hard to reheat because water is just so hard to reheat in general. Um, so try and keep that water out of it. It's not gonna like take away from the taste or anything. Um, it's just gonna make it a lot easier for you to reheat it. So probably a few more minutes, add a little bit more water to let it steam. Probably a few more minutes of this. 
Then I'll put it together. Put it in these bad boys. And then that's that. So I'll peep you when I get back. Oh. Okay. So I have my five containers right here. I have my big, big thing of food. This is heavy. The thing that I'm going to eat all of this in five days is insane. But, you know, for the gains, right? Really important, really important part I'm going to say right now. And I want all of you watching to listen to me with everything that you have. And I'm going to talk into the microphone. Okay? You listening? Okay? Okay? Eh? Eh? Let this cool down to close to room temperature before you put it in the fridge. I promise you, you will not regret it if you do that. If you if you scoop this in here, close it, and just put it in the fridge, first off, it's not safe uh, food-wise. Second, you want to put something hot in your refrigerator, it's going to cause your refrigerator to have to work harder. Okay, so it's costing you, literally costing you money. You will save money doing this. The third and most important part, in my opinion, is that when you put it in here, this is still hot. I, like this is still steaming. I don't know if you can see it, but it's still steaming. So if I put this in here, it's gonna steam, which is water. Therefore, you're gonna have condensation over this entire thing. You go to heat it up, it's gonna be wet. It's not gonna be fun. It's not gonna be good. And it's going to take longer to heat up, like I was saying earlier. You have to heat up the water as well. So portion it out and set it aside for probably two hours or however long it takes to get to room temperature, but just do that, okay? Let's get to it. So, literally just eyeball it. I just start with like, this one, let's say, took three scoops, okay? I dropped some on the ground. Off to a good start. So that one, that's, that, 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 that was three scoops right there. So each of them will get three scoops, and then if I have anything left, then we'll divvy it up that way. Hot sauce. It's so good with hot sauce, so I usually just like top it off. Like, I literally just, come on, be nice. Oh yeah, who's your daddy? Oh brother, this guy stinks! That's gonna be a hot day for me. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna set these aside. I'm gonna clean up and get ready for meal number two. Okay, so I have the ingredients right in front of me right now. So what it calls for is he used one big green pepper. I just used two smaller ones. I got literally the worst peppers. I don't know if you can see this very well. This, it looks like an old man's butt. Um, so some peppers, because it's chicken and peppers, and chipotle peppers and adobo sauce for that, for that. I don't I have no idea what adobo tastes like. I just hope this tastes good. Um, he used chicken thighs, um, but I'm using chicken breasts. So this is actually the chicken I'm using for both of my meals. So I'm using these three for this meal, these three for the second meal. Um... So this is five pounds, so two and a half pounds of chicken, half a pound of chicken per meal, five meals. So yeah, that's kind of it. Uh, I'm gonna get the rice started right now. He says to make enough rice, you want three and a half cups of cooked rice. So when I make rice, it's usually, it usually doubles the volume depending on the rice that I use. So I'm gonna do one and three quarters of dry rice. Wash your rice, everybody. I won't threaten you. Wash your rice. It's just better. It gets kind of like a little stickier. Wash your rice, okay? Oh, this this smells exquisite right now. Looks like Christmas. Christmas! So how are we doing? Oh, look at that. Look at that. 
It smells fantastic. So I'm gonna take this out and we're gonna dice it up and I'll be right back. Sizzle. So here it is. It's all done. I put in the rice, put in the chicken. I let the chicken cook like brown a little bit more, but this is it. And yeah, I'm gonna let it just cook a tiny bit more and then I'm gonna dip it out in the containers and that's the second meal down. Boom, 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 boom. I'll be back when I'm splitting it up in the containers. See? Okay. So that is all five. These are still steaming with the other one, so I'm gonna let these sit over there. I'm gonna let these sit over on the table for, I'm gonna set a timer for an hour, an hour and a half and then we'll check on it after. So I'm sending in, I'm gonna set, I'll set a 60 minute actually. And we'll check on it. And we'll check on them in 60 minutes. So that's that guys. Um, I'll be back when we're doing the third meal. I'm not really sure what I wanna do with that. I found last week that having the three meals was really constraining because then like I had no wiggle room for what I would do what I was going to do for dinner so I might I'm thinking I'm going to use the two and a half pounds of chicken and and just shred that up so that I could do like a pizza or tacos or whatever I want for dinner I want to show you guys my new my, my newest snack the like pop cakes they're so stinking good. They're 45 calorie. They're like, they're rice cakes with like chocolate drizzle on them. They're so good. They're so addictive. I ate five last night and I didn't mean to. Um, so I'm gonna polish off the rest of this bag right now, I think, and watch some JoJo's and wait for those to cool down, I guess. So I'll be back. Also, it's hard for me to look at the camera because I can't really like, like right now I'm looking in the mirror, like over it. Let's get a little. Get a little bit of flex in there, you know. Okay. All right. I'll be back. Okay. We are back. Same spot. I have an orange. I'm gonna eat. Um. We are going to make, make some baked oats inside of these cookie these cookies cookies uh, muffin tins. These are the things to pop in like pop in my mouth in the morning. I'm um, actually really excited. They're actually super easy to make, so you just take oats. Um, if this seems like something you guys really like, I'll, you know, I can make a whole video about it. But I mean, you're, you're gonna take half a cup of oats. This is for one serving. Half a cup of oats, one scoop of protein powder. So I like to mix these. Um, if I'm doing more than one serving, cake pop and mint cookie, it comes out really good. Um, so uh, half a cup of oats, one scoop of protein powder, uh, you can use an egg. I like these. I, I just use like using um, one serving of egg whites. There's less fat in them. Um, I just use one tablespoon of sweetener per per serving. Then you throw this in there. Uh, it's half a teaspoon per serving. And so those are basically those are the main ingredients. Besides, I'm forgetting a very crucial one actually. Almond milk, half half a cup per serving so i think i think one serving does four so i'm gonna make three servings and we're gonna see where we're at um you can put those in a dish like that you can put them in a ramekin sometimes i like to put them in a ramekin or yesterday i had it in a i think it's still in the microwave yesterday i made a loaf um and i ate the whole thing uh it was really good so yeah, I'm gonna get my blender out and you just literally throw it in the blender. Uh, 350 for 20 minutes. So I'm here. What's really cool about this batter is that it's very versatile. You can use it for like bread. You can make cupcakes out of it. You can make or muffins more like it. Okay, it, it's, 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 it's heated up. Um, you can make pancakes waffles it's just a very generic batter um 
It's really cool. Try to get all of the things off the top and then yeah. So follow me over the over to the oven. I still have a lot left. Um, so I'm gonna make, oh my goodness, I have a lot left. So I don't know, uh, give me one minute. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a minute to decide what I wanna do with the rest of this. They are pretty, they're, it's pretty liquidy as you, as you saw. So you don't want to add the chocolate chips in just yet. Um, you want to give them five minutes or, or give them like five minutes to like kind of thicken up a little bit before you put chocolate chips in. Um, if you put them in now, they're just going to be like all on the bottom. So that's up to you and how you want to do it. If you want chocolate chips in it or blueberries. Um, if you want them throughout the entire thing, just wait like five minutes and then like reach in and sprinkle them or take them out or something. So I'm going to put them in 350 for 20 minutes, uh, probably a little less because they're smaller. Uh, and I'll be back when they are done, done. Okay. Okay. So I put the chocolate chips in, I put the chocolate chips in and they are doing pretty good right now. It's been five minutes, I'm gonna give them another 10. I've discovered something amazing. So, they're done. They look so good. These are, I put them into my fitness pal. 58 calories for this muffin in front of me right now. 58 calories in this muffin. Five, gram, five and a half grams of protein per muffin. And these are perfect. Like, if I, if I want, if I, so I have 19 of them. 19 over five is about four. So I can literally like eat four of these in the morning, each morning. These are amazing. Guys, make these. You saw me, you, you saw me make them. You saw me, you know how to do it. Do it, please. Maybe put your own twist on them. I'm thinking about buying... I'm thinking about at Walmart, they have jumbo muffins, um, you, like jumbo muffin tins. So you can make, I can make like a jumbo muffin rather than eating four of these things, but they get crispier when they're smaller, you know? So they've cooled down and they're, I mean, they're good. And there's 58 calories. Because they're so small, I feel like I'm gonna eat a lot of them right now. And I'm gonna try not to. So, that wraps up my meal prep Sunday. Um, I'm going to make some more of that adobo chicken and shred it, I think, just to have some like chicken for the week. Um, but besides that, that's everything, guys. That's everything. That's how my typical Sunday looks right now, um, except I just use different recipes each week. I think I'm gonna. Re I think I'm really gonna like that adobo chicken. Like it. Oh my goodness, it tasted so good. So I'll probably make that again next week, but we'll see. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Um. If any of them are specifically really good, I will. Um. If any of them are specifically really good, I'll put I'll put like the uh, recipe in the comment section or in the description. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, this is really good. I guess I did. A lot of it stuck to the um, the container thing. I don't have to do that. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. Um, catch you in the next one. And yeah.
start meal prepping. It's It saves you a lot of money. It's kind of fun and saves you a lot of time. So, deuces. Get you in the next one.